How long do you think this will take? We are tiptoeing on the very edge of comprehensible physics, and it can be very hard to interpret any changes in findings. But over the years, my material and method of presentation has evolved, and with it has come some interesting observations. Observations? Like what? Well, for example, the entanglement process is actually very easy to trigger with a modest amount of equipment and power. We thought this would be our biggest obstacle, but now we find several other difficulties. Firstly, it's very hard to transmit matter so that it retains its form upon arrival. Size is manageable, but shape is very difficult. Does this seem strange to you? At first, but it does make sense in a way. Think of making a fire. You can even start a huge fire with a single tiny match. And you can even control the size of the fire to a certain degree, if you can control the fuel in the air. But can you imagine being able to make a fire change shape so that it might rise in little bubbles rather than spiky flames? That's what we're trying to do with body transmission. That's incredible. It gets better. Oh! If we can ever retain the shape of the object we send, we're going to have an even bigger challenge of aiming it. Nature was never designed to allow people to point and shoot solid matter without it passing through other matter. If we go back to our fire, it's like we're trying to make it flow downwards. asking us, is it safe? No. Really? It's not safe. And there is no question about that. You sound very certain. Absolutely. Even if you can send a whole person so that they arrive with arms, legs, and belt buckles intact, you have to be prepared that you might not be where you want. You could end up in a field, or in your friend's bathtub, or two miles underwater. Anyone pioneering this kind of transport should be prepared for any environment because it can go so wrong. But is driving a car safe? Is flight safe? Is space travel safe? No, they're not. 